Hello Slopers, Tim Knight here. Uh, I'm going to make three videos. The last time I did this, I got a very positive response and people said you should do more of that. Kind of like uh, talk to the camera kind of thing instead of talking about charts all the time. So I'm going to do it's kind of what I did last time, which is uh, I'm going to do this video, which is just some off the cuff commentary. I honestly don't even know what subjects I'm going to talk about, but I'll make it brief. I, your time is valuable. Um, and I'm going to do a second video. Uh, to uh, look at the 16 indexes that I follow and uh, talk about those. And that'll be available to all pain members, bronze, silver, gold, platinum. And then I'll do a third one, probably the longest one by far, uh, to kind of go over my existing positions. And uh, that's just for gold and platinum. And if you are a free account, do consider joining, especially now that we've got an honest God bear mark on our hands. Um, I have been trading for a very long time, um, for 35 years, I think so. Yeah, 35 years, good God. Um, and I've been charting that whole time too. I've been through every market there has been in all that time. This feels really different. And it's not just because it's a bear market. This does not feel like the uh, internet bubble bursting in 2000 and 2002. This does not feel like the financial crisis. This is a horse of a different color, which makes sense because this bull market has been a horse of a different color. Um, as I put it, I am feeling deliciously bored lately um, because I just kind of stand here and glance from time to time and things are just going well and I'm just leaving them alone. Um, I think that the valuations just got to such a point where the tires can be, you can let the air out of the tires for a very long time. And I would much rather the go on for months instead of just slash the tire and it's empty all of a sudden. Um, Cause that, that's not good for anybody. Uh, my style of trading definitely is most conducive to uh, that sort of slowly and with some rallies here and there, um, deflating things. And ideally it'll go on for many, many months. Um, I, uh, definitely sense that the, um, I know we all look at that, you know, extreme greed, extreme fear meter, and it's way over at extreme fear right now. But as with a lot of sentiment and the VIX, I know closing basis, I believe did uh, his study sharing with, a, with us all about um, uh, how the VIX, when it reaches a certain level, in most conditions, this is a bottom, but in bear markets, it behaves a completely different way. And that's what has transpired so far. I think there's a lot of wisdom in that because we are in a very different environment here. Uh, it feels different. The behavior of bulls and bears alike is different. And as I've mentioned, I think it's also a process of self-discovery to see like how we handle ourselves, both emotionally and tactically uh, in the actual day-to-day -day trading. Um, those of you who watch me on Tasty Trade have probably noticed a change in mood. <laughs> um, it hasn't been giddy. It hasn't been gleeful. It hasn't been angry. It's just been sort of like, well, here we are, and this is what's happening. And for some reason, and I hope I don't jinx it. I have been spared thus far of the old, uh, you nasty shorts, you you're causing all these world troubles and you love it. And you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, that'd be nuts for somebody to say that. But, um, I, I do see some other fellow bears getting that kind of, you know, shame on you kind of treatment, which is bizarre because we are observers and uh, take into account uh, history and what's going on now and try to uh, position ourselves accordingly. We are not the prime movers of what's happening. We're merely the observers. Um, so um, as I've been making very clear, there probably isn't a single position that I've closed this year uh, with a few exceptions that I'm glad I closed. Um, the charts have worked out so well that uh, to a man, almost, they've all been terrific trades with the glaring exception of energy, as I've mentioned countless times. But save that, 
uh, everything else has just been dynamite. So as I stand here now, um, I am in 9% cash, up from about zero this morning. And I'll probably regret that 9% too. Uh, and I've got, um, I think, 42 positions, uh, all of them bearish with the exception, of course, of uh, gold, which I am delightfully bullish on. So um, I think that's enough kind of general remarks. Uh, I'll, I'll say one last thing about slope. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the site has gotten kind of vast. There, there are so many features, it's a little overwhelming. And I've stopped just kind of like slapping bells and whistles on it endlessly. Uh, it's a bit much, I think. And so what I've been trying to do is to just kind of polish up the infrastructure, make sure things are smooth and fast and clean. And the only really feature feature that, uh, that I want to get in there is in Slope Talk, uh, voice, the ability to talk. Because it's an experiment. People might like that or nobody might. I don't know, but it's worth trying. And that's an engineering challenges, uh, challenge to us right now. So we're going to see if we can make that happen, that we can actually talk to one another like I'm talking to you right now. So uh, thank you. And uh, I'll go make those other two videos now.